Manichaeism, a former giant religion suppressed by the Sassanids, Romans, Abbasid Caliphate, and later China, resulting in the faith mostly fading away. But today we start in the Far East, surrounded by people who hate us and are tasked with bringing Manichaeism back to the top and establishing the Yamagate in Smarkand. Also, if everybody watching is subscribed, hit my goal in no time and it would mean so, so much to me. Thank you. So yeah, today we are starting all the way over here in 1066 as a vassal to people who absolutely hate us. They consider us evil. So it's going to be no easy start trying to get out of this mess. But we do have a lot to do because our faith is it's not doing so good right now. We have no control over any of our holy sites. And as you can see, this is the one all the way over here that we need to take back. And once we do that, our head of faith will occupy that county and hopefully give this faith a chance of a good revival. But we got a long way to go. If we look at the decision, it's kind of bugged out uh, not showing the actual requirements but what we have to do is become a king or emperor create our head of faith title and of course own the county so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and make like a nice powerful kingdom take back our holy site and hopefully once i do that i'm gonna let the ai take over and we're gonna see if with all that set up this faith can come back well the first thing i'm gonna do is try and take my liege's throne. Now, it may not happen for some time. We are 46. We have one kid who also has one kid. So, make sure they're being educated and they're not even of my faith. So, we need to try and demand their conversion like now. Yeah, they both agreed. I'm not sure why they weren't my faith, but let's get that sorted out because uh, that would be awkward if we just lost that straight away. Now, this guy next to us is going to be our best target so we're gonna make a claim on him our chaplain has 23 learning so that should give us a pretty good chance again a duchy claim so we're gonna do that straight away i mean do we want more children honestly having one is probably enough what i'll do i'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get a marriage for our player heir and son at least so maybe he can have a couple of children alliances yeah look at that practically non-existent the only alliances we can get are barons so we are fully on our own and you can see the decline of this faith in the game like if you go to 867 this faith is way more widespread i believe uh the faith does still exist today in like china and stuff it's very very small though because eventually it got pushed east ended up in china and they were like basically suppressed by the chinese so it still exists although it's not very big but it's a pretty unique decision because i have never ever seen this one before the most important thing for us is gonna be our army these guys have mountaineers and bowmen we got pikemen and light footmen so oh we have horse archers Ooh, our culture has horse lords i did not realize that okay well it's gotta be done right <laughs> And we're going to go down to diplomacy focus. I think um, we're probably not going to get our legions thrown anytime soon. So focusing on our prestige game to hold a bigger army. And then maybe going into stewardship later to pick up meritocracy probably works best. But we already have golden obligations unlocked. So let's get our spy master. Zero. Oh, she has zero. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, what is going on? But we'll assign this person, get them to find secrets. And now we actually have a chance. Uh, one thing we can do as well is create our duchy title for just 125 gold. So if we do that, we'll also make a little bit more prestige per month as well. And honestly, I think this guy is allergic to secrets. It's been about 10 attempts and still he has got nothing. And we've tried it in a few different places as well. We're trying in our lieges court now, but still absolutely nothing is coming up i'm gonna petition my liege though for a council appointment and let's see if we can maybe become his steward that would be nice or maybe his chancellor that would be even better yeah so we are trying to become the king's steward eventually he addresses me you make some good arguments but if i am to agree to your request i will need something in return a weak hawk um yeah we are tribal so it's not like he can mess with our contract or anything so I think a weak hook is not too bad at all. And we're making 4.7 gold per month, which when we take his capital, if we stock up all this gold, we can maybe build it up and use that. Although it looks like he's doing it himself, which is nice. But of course, also mercenaries could be a good thing to spend some money on. Ooh, there's a grand tournament being hosted inside our Legion's realm. You know what? Let's do it. 
Let's go there, see what we can do. Maybe earn a nice bit of prestige. And the last thing we need to do is get ill. So let's not eat some random meal. So the first thing is a horse race. Oh, that's it. There's only a horse race and we don't even qualify. So let's head to the tawny grounds so we can join for a cup of spiced wine. But that does have a chance to decrease our score. We're going to say disgusting. Yeah, we should have another chance. So let's hope. Right, our last chance. Can we do it where victory is fostered? So my knights stand assembled for the day's training. Their attendants laden with kit. Erkin and myself stand before all. Bag hatters, what you do not know, ask humbly to be taught, urges Erkin. Together, we represent the Duke. Let us together prepare for our glories. Command us. So, honestly, what gives us the best chance? This one. Draw your swords. Increases our qualification chance. There we go. We are guaranteed to qualify. So, contest begins. You know what? Let's bet on somebody. We'll bet on our knight. So, we can sabotage somebody. Um, I always seem to get caught. But, you know what? Let's try and sabotage somebody. Does it work? Probably not. No, we were caught. Of course we were. So, it seems maybe because of our age that... Our knight is doing it for us. So we can offer him extra pay or hit him in the face. Like, hit him in the face. You better win. One more push. Can you win it? It seems our marshal was doing it for us. Oh, wait. Long dash didn't even place. I will have to be better prepared next time. So I did win, though. So I won a wager. It seems I didn't actually take part. I thought I qualified. I don't know what happened there. But I will receive a prize. So maybe I did take part? I don't get it. But 15% fertility. You know what? I'll take it. And a nice 600 prestige. And our fervor is increased by 10 up to now 98. But yeah, we can get a, a fi we can get a little bit. Maybe I didn't get that prestige there. Maybe I'm just stupid. That's probably what happened there. Okay, nice. Finally, his first secret found. <laughs> I mean, he can't even use it for blackmail, so beyond useless. Nice. There we go. Finally, a claim on the entire duchy. So we can pick up now all of this and he becomes our vassal. We should be able to win this war. So I say, let's just go for it. He has no allies either. We can always get some mercenaries if we do need them. Well, he's going to try and go round into my land. I do not think so. <laughs> there we go. Finally caught up. To Never mind. He's so fast. There we go. Oh my God. Fallen son. We're now rivals. So hopefully we can take him out. But our son was just completely taken out. Now, he had two sons. So right now it's all going to my grandson who is 17. He's a fortune builder. So not bad. He's also an aspiring blade master as well. So he may turn out to be quite decent to be fair. And we'll put his brother into a martial education as well. See if he can turn out decent. But well, let's hope we get some revenge on Ming for that. Now one thing we could definitely do with is some um, onagers to be honest. I think we should pick up some onagers next. Oh there we go. We captured their leader in battle there. They rushed in to fight us. So we can enforce that and we picked up Two new vassals. Now, they're probably going to try and rise up and fight me. The best thing we can hope for is demanding their conversion. One of them converted, and the guy we just fought didn't. That makes sense. Fair enough. But now this guy is converted. Let's start swaying him. Try and get him on our side. And um, he's not really good enough to go on our council, to be honest. So, um, what are you? Are you good enough? No, they're, they're both kind of terrible. We don't need money, so we'll make him our steward. And this guy is just going to have to stay off the council. There's not really much I can do about that. But, you know what? Right now, we're half as powerful as our liege. So hopefully before long, all of his kingdom will be ours. And most importantly, everybody inside of it converted. Oh, and very lucky this time, we got our second duchy claim practically instantly. And we don't have enough prestige to do it. If we do start it, yeah, we... St Still stay distinguished. So I think, you know what? Let's just get in there. Expand now while we have the claim. We might die and then lose the claim. I might never get it again. So let's just get in there. What is the timing on that? So we crossed the door to the world of the spirits at 60. So now Duke Tuckuck ascends to the throne. Let's see. Should still be able to win this war. Definitely need to get married. How about alliances now? I mean... Anything? Hmm, there's actually stuff showing up now, although quite far away. So honestly, I think I was going to say maybe look for some traits, but there is actually 
None at all. This could work, though. We do lose a little bit of prestige making the marriage, but she's got very, very, very good stats, and we could use her to say court politics, and we should make a little bit more prestige per month. But let's catch this army out right here. Wedding celebration. We'll take the prestige. But there we go. That first battle killed a fair amount of them. And what we got to do now, just go and siege. And you know what? Let's just make a stack of onagers, build them up, and send them into our army because slow sieges are just an absolute pain right now there we go so we have 10 of them built so we're gonna raise them and just send them into our army and hopefully that should be a nice speed up for our sieges and he wants me to be the marshal i mean we may as well and he wants to send us a gift okay our liege likes us what does being the marshal get us then we're picking up more prowess 15 percent less army gold maintenance so does that considering i'm tribal is that not really helping then at all i guess reinforcements but not prestige which is a shame be nice if it also affected prestige if you're tribal but it doesn't look like it does but after this siege this should be over yep there we go in force and look at that we are getting way bigger now pretty soon i think we can go for our lieges title we have this guy as a vassal so he could make actually a pretty good marshal so we'll let him be our marshal and then we're going to ask him to convert. You want a weak hook. You know what? We'll give him that. Oh, so this guy, of course, refused to convert. But his son did convert. And he will inherit his titles. So I think it's very important we get his son on our side. Because once he dies, he inherits both of these. He's going to be pretty powerful. So let's make sure he's on the council. What can he do, though? That's the problem. I guess he's going to have to be my chancellor. Yeah, a big, big loss to our prestige gain. But we're also rivals. He did i mean he did actually is it, oh i just realized he's the one who killed our father i did not make that connection how did i miss that right you are literally we've got to do something to him can we murder him five percent chance you know what let's try it if we can murder him great and um, we can't convince his spy master for just 55 gold oh you're so dead sorry but yeah <laughs> you're literally you're done for I'm surprised I did not notice that. Yeah, you, you're having no chance of this. Let's just hope we don't get discovered doing it. We can stop swaying him as well now. I don't think we need to worry about that one. Okay, so we now have a faction rising up as well. The guy we just took and the guy we're about to kill. So we are trying to defeat these, which we should, should be able to defeat them. If it was all three of our vassals, we may be in some trouble. But just these two, I, I think we got it. Right, assassin. 95 percent chance the plan worked and count ming is finally dead thankfully my involvement in the crime remains unknown i do love surprise visits so now it's ruled by his son he likes us a little bit more and he's very he's a very good chancellor but for some reason we can't make him this ruler is a powerful vassal who doesn't expect anything from you uh, okay Fair enough. There we go. Destroyed both of their armies. We'll get on with Siege in now. One thing I wouldn't mind doing. Can we increase? Ooh, but yeah, we need we need high tribal authority to revoke titles. I was going to say after this war, we could revoke some titles, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. We're going to have to await at least till 1093. So another 10 years until we can revoke titles, which is a shame. Ooh, suddenly they have loads of men. What has happened? Oh, this guy is way more powerful than his brother was. So they are coming into fight. So there's a risk here we lose. Oh, that's flipped it, okay? It didn't give us any more percent in the wall for some reason. But now we have the defender advantage. They're pretty much done for. And there we go. 100%. So, did sort that out. But we can't revoke titles. At that point, then, we may as well just ransom them away for gold, I guess. Oh, actually, this guy, where is primary is? So if we execute him, we take all of his titles. So that actually worked out even better for us. Oh, and with this guy... So if we just execute them both, uh, we just took all their titles. <laughs> and we've got an achievement, know your place. That worked way better then. So now what we can do is we can take a proper look at the land and maybe hold an extra title or two. Problem is our stewardship is only 11 and that gets us three titles to hold. And our wife basically has no managed domain bonus for us. 
But we're going to give all this away to, say, this guy. And we're going to do the same with the other duchy. But what we're doing is I'm just going to hold the capitals of them both. We'll grant them the duchy title. Do we have them, maybe? Well, actually, we don't even need to grant them the duchy title. We can keep a hold of the duchy titles for them as well now. So we hold both the extra duchy capitals. So we can get a nice bit of income from them. And it'll make them a little bit weaker as well. So that, I think that's a good thing to do there. Oh, and what happened to this guy? Oh, so this guy died... Just before we executed this guy, so we actually got all of our vassal's land, including the guy who had this land. So yeah, actually, we've done very well for ourselves there, but we've still got a lot to do. And there we go, another duchy claim. Right now, we are making really, really quick work of all the other vassals. Helps that all the duchies right now are de jure, so we can just pick them up really, really easily. And yeah, there we go. This contract for bids. We can modify it, I guess, and take it away. Or we could just murder him. I think I'll just murder him, to be honest. We'll just bribe as many people as we can as money is, let's be honest. Not that useful for us. So there we go, up to a 95% chance. Perfect. So once he's dead, we're also his primary heir. It seems people over here don't really like having children, which works for me. And our next duchy we're going for is this one but here. And that is, if we look at our faith map, that is a holy side for us. That would allow us to create the head of faith title. And after we get our lieges title as well, we have a long way to go. <laughs> we have a lot of traveling to do and some powerful people to fight. And there we go. 95% chance. Come on. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Once again, another duchy claim. This one, of course, for our holy site. So this one, very, very important for us. Well, they are sieging our capitals. We are going to have to head down there. And there we go. Finally, we've had a son on player A. So hopefully he turns out good. What we can do is get a court tutor. The best we got is average. So for now, we'll just take that. But our liege wants us to be a steward. You know what? We'll take it. Are we going to get there in time? Yeah, just. And look at that. Still caught them. That was a tough fight though. But we did kill only 400, not bad. That is about half of them, so yeah, not too bad. Now let's get some revenge. Head up for his capital. And I think to take over our liege's land, we're definitely going to need some, some horse archers, some more of them anyway. But there we go. Now we picked up two more vassals, or three actually. Two of them are prisoners, so you know what? Uh, executing them is probably a bad idea. What I can do, negotiate release demand conversion i think that will work out best for us and this final guy he's probably oh 100 chance to convert because he's terrified of us i mean to be honest is it worth actually taking over the last two vassals inside my lieges realm and then going for his title i think it could be you know what i, I think we can take our liege on now so what i'm gonna do reset perks pick up meritocracy and i think let's just start the scheme now to get our lieges thrown. And he only has 1,700 men, although he does have some powerful allies, but that's something a murder scheme can fix for us if we need. There we go. Claim thrown successful. Now, what we gotta do, I think, is probably worth, yeah, murdering the current ruler if we can. 44% chance we can actually bribe his spy master for 176 gold. There we go. 95% chance. There we go. So the current ruler now now has 2,000 men. Still a tough fight, but no allies. If we start a faction, there's maybe a chance that she either surrenders or other people join me. So we'll start that and we'll look for a marriage with our daughter as well. Maybe pick up a nice ally. Hopefully someone who's pretty close to us, but that doesn't seem likely. It seems nobody close to us wants an alliance. Well, that works. This guy here has 2,000 men. You know what? Yes, that's perfect for us. Yeah, nobody else is joining us. So let's just press demands. Odds are she's going to fight. So what we're going to do, we're going to stand our men up right for here. There we go. And we'll call our ally. And we can march straight to their capital, I think. To be honest, she's in another war. So her armies are like up here somewhere. So we may be able to siege all her land before she even gets back. We can assault fort, just get it done really quick. Oh, um, oh, okay. I thought I would win if I just sieged her two county titles, but no. The war does carry on. We are up 40% though. So let's just head towards it, go in for a fight. We should win a battle, so I'm not too worried about that. Hopefully, yeah, we go. Caught them right by there. Caught her in battle and absolutely dismantled her army with only 14 survivors. But there we go. Just like that, one of our goals has been 
successful. But of course, what we still need to do is create our head of faith title. And of course, most importantly, get this title all the way over here. Now, this guy, he's too far away to interact with. So yeah, he's out of our diplomatic range, but no worries. We can just move closer to him. That's fine. Now to grant away some of these duchy titles now as well. But after that, we are left with three vassals who are not of our faith. So I think we pick up Thoughtful for opinion gain from Send Gift plus 100%. And then maybe see if we can demand conversion. Although because of our high dread, they may actually all accept. We might not need to send them any money. Yeah. Because they're terrified of us. They're basically just agreeing. So just like that, every single one of our vassals now follows our faith. And our faith, you know what? It has a nice little kingdom to call home. So this prisoner's worth 100 gold. I mean, yes, please. Thank you. I'll take that. And of course, as we are tribal, we do get the ability to invade kingdom now for that we need to be exalted among men we just become illustrious so one more level of fame and of course 1000 prestige and we can use those and as well we also have subjugation wars so we have a nice way to expand but we are gonna have to spend a lot of money now and basically just do hunts and stuff like that yeah honestly i think this is our best move from here so let's stop wasting time let's get in there she has 2300 men she's also in two other wars as well so this shouldn't be too bad I and mean, we can probably just head straight for a capital she's not going to be leading her armies as she's a child so if we're lucky uh, we can just capture her in the first siege that would be great and there we go. Luck is on our side today. So we can enforce that. And look at that. That's a nice big expansion. But we do have these two walls that we're in. This guy will take a white piece. Uh, we could enforce. We're only getting 50 odd gold. Uh, you know what? Let's just go and win the wars. Why not? May as well. And one of them invalidated. Fair enough. But we still have this one left. But they're actually trying to siege our capital. I didn't even see them up there. So you know what? Let's just march up there. Hopefully in time. Wipe out their armies. Right, he's trying to run away, but you know what? I actually want to take out your armies, so we are going to keep chasing you. There we go. And now we'll enforce demands. Perfect. So after those wars, we're slowly getting towards Exalted Among Men. We're 42, so hopefully we can do that and get maybe this as a war done. Because that would be really big, and our kingdom would look nice and big then. And for empires, yeah, we're not... We're not really anywhere close to any empires the empires on this side of the world are absolutely massive <laughs> like look compare the size so um probably becoming an emperor not gonna happen today honestly i'm doing a feast as well after just in a hunt i think actually feasts are way better for prestige like everything we're doing is just earning us loads of prestige i think that was way more successful than any hunt and it also took down a faction and made the person whose land we took like us so you know what i think feasts actually may be way better there and also i completely forgot to demand her conversion now our dread has dropped a bit so there's a chance she refuses yeah she refused i mean we are gonna have to try and sort that out at some point oh this one be a bad war to start right now though a duchy war against this guy we take all of his land and if we look at the faith map it gets us really close to where we need to be you know what that's that's not a bad idea and when we win we should gain some prestige so hopefully this gets us closer to being exalted among men as well and there we go first siege we actually did that but now we have a faction rising up so two members she joined and this ruler but here okay um of course i will not be threatened problem is our army is now all the way over here and if we disband 14 months so we're gonna have to walk them back and hope we can get back and defend this in time of course one thing we could do we could get some mercenaries if we need but i'd much rather not do that if i can and not waste the money that way and we can pass high tribal authority so if we win this war we can revoke their titles as well if we want so that's way better it says we're probably gonna lose the fight hmm, i think we should head back to our capital resupply a little bit and do we have an ally still yeah we do so we may as well call our ally to help we can also vassalize somebody so you be there you know what we may as well vassalize you and if we can let's see straight away demand her conversion there we go our supplies are mostly fixed our allies are here um, you know what? They're not sieging anything too important. So let's actually go and siege their land. You want to purchase a truce for 50 gold? I mean, 
I'm not really interested in your land, so you may as well do that. There we go. With that siege, I think we should... Say we're going to lose the battle. Oh, and she also just got a new ally. Okay, you know what? I think maybe then let's marry off another daughter. Let's just pick up another ally. We may not need them, but let's just make sure we win this. This would be a huge alliance. Yes. Let's make that and call him straight away to come and help us in that war. They're going to march in, but these guys should arrive in time and save us defeat here. We have a decent commander as well. Let's see how this plays out. Come on, they've got to be quick though. It's kind of close. So yeah, their support should 100% flip that and save us there we go we're now up three percent so we can unsiege um what is this what do you want an independence faction and you are down here well i guess we're gonna have to call our allies to this war as well let's just make sure we don't lose any of these i'll honestly take white pieces in any of them to be honest if it saves me yeah the first war will take a white piece i'll do that and let's just head over here then and make sure we win this independence war. And then we'll have some peace and we can actually work out our moves to get in the land oh, we need over here. Yeah, we caught them pretty easily from every direction. So um, we should have no problem now sieging and this should be over quite soon. And yeah, there we go. Managed to siege most of her land. She's now in prison and she's the one who didn't convert. So uh, we are definitely going to revoke all of her land and then basically just grant it away to somebody of our faith. And it was also this person over here so we can take his titles and instead we're just going to grant them to this guy. He is of our faith. So that fixes that problem. We have this vassal as well. We can try and convert him. There we go. So now I think once again, all of our vassals are of our faith. And yeah, we're very close to exalted among men. We'll hold a feast. That will make our vassals like us a bit more as well. And after this, we should be exalted among men. At least hopefully. There we go. So after that, we just about became exalted among men. And we do have a thousand prestige. So... We can invade kingdom, and I think this one makes a lot of sense. It connects all of our land. So once we get that, we also now have a border on the people who have the holy site that we need. I mean, uh, we're up 33%. We've sieged a lot with our allies. Uh, they're all the way over there. You know what? If they're just going to siege over there, I might just let them. <laughs> doesn't really affect us at all. Okay, they are actually unsieging now. So let's head down there, defeat them in battle. And after this battle, we may actually win as long as we can catch them. There we go. Valuable prisoner captured. So enforce that. We have just taken a nice new big kingdom. Now with that, we did get two more vassals. So hopefully, nah, they do not want to convert. One of them might. There we go. He did actually convert. So you know what? I'll grant you... Two extra titles should like, you know what? You converted just to have all the extra land. Why not? And that does just leave one thing remaining. Our holy site. Which for that, we need the far right duchy. And when we do that, we will have the holy site we need. Problem being, this guy is very, very powerful. But then again, if we can just murder him and destroy his alliances, we don't need a more powerful army. So let's see who we can bribe. We'll spend all the gold we have to just to pay for as many people as we can. There we go. Once again, a 95% chance. Let's go. Come on. There we go. And we wasn't discovered. And if we look now, a little bit weaker, still somewhat powerful, but I think we can step in there now and get the land we need. We're going to conquer Duchy and let's go for it. And we can raise our men right on their border now. There we go, our first siege. So if we can make quick work sieging, problem is we do have to get to the wall target and there's a lot of attrition on the way. So sieging up here for now is probably not a bad idea. Although I think we should go ahead and maybe look for some more alliances, mainly people who are not too far away and of course are not at war. Some other guys declaring war on me for a bit of land down here. Now, to be honest, I think I'll just surrender that. I don't want to go and deal with that right now. I'm way more focused on this. Okay, they're right but there. If we can catch them out with or our allies we should be able to defeat them here as long as they all follow which they should and this would get us off to a really really nice start come on we got the battle advantage and when they join we have the extra men as well the fallen son that's the second time we've lost a son in battle but that was our younger son so we still have one we're gonna become rivals what i'm gonna do i'm gonna head in here and forbid my other son from fighting i should have done that before 
but I always forget. So forbid. Do not go to battle and die, please. I'm kind of relying on you right now. But there, you know what? While we've defeated their armies, let's just take the attrition. Start getting on the war target. We just picked up infirm, so let's be quick. There you go. That siege takes us to 61%. Their capital's right there. It'd be wrong not to. Oh, and we just died. Damn. Okay. Everything is still intact because we did lose that sun in battle. Okay, so we didn't lose any land, so it's not too bad just yet. We'll see how it goes, though. Come on, pretty soon, we'll get their capital, so let's hope we can win. We are up 80 three percent because yeah they're sieging a bit but we're sieging the actual war target right now there we go 100 percent so now what we can do we can recreate the head of faith title so we need to be at least faithful which we're not too far away so i mean we can do that pretty easily by just going on a pilgrimage there we go just like that we are now faithful so we can recreate the head of faith title declared yeah, mag. So this person is now our head of faith. And because we already have everything else set up, we can see the decision. So just like that, we have lost that title we just took over here if we look. And instead, what happens is it gets granted away to our head of faith. As you can see, they personally hold that now. So that's basically the Rome of our faith, right? They hold that. And what I'll probably do, we could grant them all these titles, right? Yes, yeah, so and now our head of faith has a decent chunk of land. And so they're fairly powerful. Well, not really, but hopefully over time, they can become fairly powerful and manage things from there. But what I'm interested in seeing, we have created a pretty powerful and pretty big kingdom title for our people. We've restored the head of faith and given them their land back. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to observe and I want to see if this fixes things. Can this give our faith a second chance of spreading? Or will it just get destroyed once more? There we go. So it's now 1200 AD. And the faith is going pretty strong still. Like it's doing okay. If we look at the faith map. They have two holy sites. So they've done pretty well. But sadly it hasn't really spread. Because the Seljuks turned up and they took our head of faith title and everything. So we lost that land pretty early on. The Seljuk Empire was massive at one point, but now it's basically gone. But sadly, it didn't spread as much as I wanted it to. But there we go. That's just the AI for you. But thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.